Crikey. All right, Australia is up there again, I believe. Give us a wave up there, Angela Pope, if you're ready. I think I can see you. Yep, there you are on the TV. All right, the crowd is starting to get thick down here. Just to join Australia for our second run, we showed you all of our steering low-end progressional turns last run, and we're starting to pick up some speed now. Angie is coming down doing our carved medium turn. Adding on to the steered medium turns from our last run, Ange is going faster with more edge, but she's still blending the skills together to create a carved ski performance on the snow. Blending a little bit of rotary still in with the high edge angle. Balanced on the outside ski. Ange transitions from turn to turn with a slide up motion, but controlling a little bit of the pressure built up with the legs as well. So it's an up and forward as she crosses the skis into the turn. Thanks, Ange. And next we got Jeremy from Mount Hotham, Australia, coming down doing the same skill, skill blend, a carved short turn. Jez is blending that high edge angle in with a bit more rotation now from the legs, creating good upper and lower body separation so he can move at a high rhythm from turn to turn. This short turn we use a lot in our free skiing around the mountains in Australia. It's a good blend to ski through the chopped up crud that we have to deal with a lot. Moguls everywhere after all of our skiers have beaten up the piece slopes. We're gonna ask our next skier, Tom Langtree, to start dropping in at the top. Thanks, Jeremy. Tom from Falls Creek, Australia is going faster again on this turn. This is our pure carved medium turn. This time, Tom has no rotational twisting of the skis. He's trying to work the ski design to get the shape of the turn that he wants. So using a lot of edge, pressure and balance on the outside ski to get that ski to bend. It's really important that we use progressive movements through the turn to keep moving in on the edges to get that ski to come around in a smooth round arc. The crossover is more direct into the turn and forward so he can get up on the high edge angles needed. Thanks, Tom. Our last ski is coming down, James Crompton from Threadbow. And James is gonna do a pure carve short turn. We're close to a slalom turn here. James still has good upper and lower body separation, but getting the legs to passively turn underneath him using the ski design to bend the skis around the arc, holding the strong upper and lower body separation so he can stay balanced on the outside ski and get that ski to bend. And this is Australian high-end ski turns. Thanks, James.